Hi everyone, Himanshu here and in this video, let's talk about getting the definitions right. It's very easy to slip in wrong definitions and wasting a lot of time in doing things that were not really important. I know people who confuse freedom with indiscipline and I'm sure you would know people who say they are just enjoying their life but in reality somewhere even in their heads they know they are running away from what is important for them in the moment well enjoying is not wrong doing nothing is not wrong in fact doing nothing is wonderful but confusing enjoyment with indiscipline and confusing mixing freedom with running away from your current responsibilities it's a big personal red flag because somewhere in your mind you know this is something wrong and somewhere you know you do not want to do it imagine people wasting a lot of time watching movies this is a personal example sometimes i fall into that sometimes i spend a lot of time doing things that i'm not supposed to do and when I say not supposed to, I mean I do not want to do them. Because vocabulary is very limited, we learn with a word. We just take, okay, this is freedom. So what does freedom mean? Freedom means we can do what we want to do. And we have a choice to do whatever we want. But is it really true? Is it really whatever we want to do is freedom because if we will not do what is important it will just be gone if freedom is about wasting a lot of time running around and probably getting involved in activities like um, drinking a lot of alcohol and some other distracting things do you think freedom will stay for long probably it won't because then even if you will keep doing that on the name of freedom, there will be more guilt and shame and misery and poverty that will uh, run behind you and you won't be free anymore. And this is why it is important to get the definitions right. And somewhere in our mind, we know the right definitions because we don't take a word. We learn from feelings and experiences but when we are a lot in our heads it's very easy to slip into that because all this comfort lives with us and it is trying to hide in the dark so when you are most vulnerable then it can enter and control you this is why it is important for us to consciously work on the definitions it's like setting up the compass because the definitions are not going to be the same forever. The definition of God today is not similar to the definition that was 200 years ago. And it's completely different from the definition of God 3000 years ago. So it is important for us to check back when we are moving a little bit ahead. We need to set the compass right. Are our definitions correct because if they are wrong then you will see that we will rely upon the words instead and more we rely upon our mind and more we rely upon the word it is easy to leave this big space where all these mind chatter and self-doubt and all the wrong definitions that can enter and because we are the combinations of our values and beliefs we will slowly see that the new beliefs are getting created. If we are not consciously acting and not consciously um, guarding our definitions, we will see that someone else can just intrude. And that might not be necessarily uh, serving us.